hi welcome back to my channel okay like I promised you yesterday today I'm going to finish up the last tips and tricks for the smooth black background it's not gonna be a long one this is gonna be a little bit easier so uh, yesterday we talked about using uh, the Copic marker and it was Copic marker N8 to create a base and then to go over the base you'll only need about one coat one layer of black to get a nice smooth background okay then we turn that black background into space by adding some color directly onto you don't add this onto wax you add the color directly onto the black background so I would go directly on here and work and then you'd add your black and you do your fill-ins and if you work at it and work at it I think I just picked up a brown pencil I did oh well if you work at it and work at it eventually you get space now I promised you another trick and this is the reason why I wanted to put two uh, videos back to back because I didn't want anybody going to the store and then going oh you had more so we're going to work today with Cop another Copic, and this is N4. So the first gray Copic that you'd use with the black would be the N8, and now we're working with N4. These are the only two, I promise. I like to spend your money. There's one other thing that you're going to need. And here it is. Now, I don't know if you're going to get a clear view. And what are these? These are texturizers. And normally I use these for polymer clay, but they work fantastic in coloring books. And I have a whole bunch of them. They, they have this in brick. They have it in snowflakes. Here is a snowflake one. This is the star pattern. Uh, a whole array of them. So you choose whichever one you want to use. I'm going to do, I think, the snow. Because I'm dreaming of winter. I'm going to place it underneath the gray. And with your pencil, you did this as kids, I'm sure. You're going to go over it. Now, I wanted you to do this in light gray, so if you do it in the black, you don't get as much of a contour. And the color doesn't come up as easy. We have one popping up here. That looks pretty good. And there you have it. Now imagine this as a background so after you remove this you just since it's already in the gray family you just fill in the layer of black and of course you can have them all over the background and they come out stunning you can get in the grooves This works best on the cheaper books. 
sometimes when you get really thick paper, it doesn't show up as much. And then you can go around it and darken it up. And it really adds three dimension to your picture. So these are available in all different, let me show you the stars. This is available in all different patterns. Um, I have the brick one also, and I love that one. Everyone likes a nice brick background. And of course, you need stars. I'd be more careful in picking, you know, which star I want where. But I'm just doing this fast. This one came out really good. So I'll zoom in on that. I'm using computer paper because I don't want to do this in any of my books. I have no page to do this on. So I will zoom in on that and that is a continuation, something else you could do with your black backgrounds to give it some texture. Now why did I give you that one? Got another trick for you. You're doing a black background, of course. And we need the Posca. You're gonna need stars, of course. You're gonna add your star, tap it down like you always do to make it look like it's glaring. Add another layer when that dries. Of course, this is too soon. But I want a black background. So we're gonna do the black background. But you know how the stars glow? By using the gray instead of the black. There you got it. Now you know on computer paper you don't get saturation, it just doesn't have the tooth. Once you have that, you just add your gray in. It's nice and light. and you have a glowing star. Looks kind of funny done on computer paper, but I'll show you an example of what I'm working on. I had hoped to finish this by today, but things got ahead of me. This was done in the black magic marker, and you can see I haven't finished it completely and around my stars I've left it slightly lighter and you can see it's it's lighter in places and this is because I want my stars to glow so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll probably show it to you in another video but at least you can get an idea of how it works. And then maybe a shooting star. I have no shooting stars up here.
and there you have it. A smooth and perfect black background. With that, I end my lesson on black backgrounds and we will be back probably next Friday and uh, with a new, I'm going to start doing my, my uh, videos, putting them out on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, hopefully I always try to make a schedule and it never works out, but it seems that with my work schedule, it works out best if I get them done on the weekends. So I will see you next Friday and you guys have a great weekend and a great week. Keep coloring. But you saw and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell.